Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speech, and with part one of this Gantt chart series, the four quick steps to turn your Excel data like this into shapes that you can build a visual layout like this in PowerPoint, which would normally take you how long to pull off? 30 minutes if you're fast, maybe an hour, maybe two? Well, stick with me, and I'll show you how you can turn your Excel data into shapes in less than a minute and prove to you that you can pull this whole layout off in just about 12 minutes flat without any special add-ins or software. That said, if you build a lot of Gantt charts like this, you're going to fall in love with the second part of this series where I cover an add-in that will do the whole thing for you in less than 30 seconds. If you want a cheat sheet of these four steps plus all the shortcuts, click the link beneath this video. And here in Excel, notice that I have all of the information for the Gantt chart that I want to build a PowerPoint graphic for. So this is Project Monkey Timeline, and I'm going to start here with my task. This first trick only works with single columns at a time, so when you have multiple columns like this, you'll have to do this trick numerous times. The add-in I'll show you in the second part of the series will do it all for you, but this is still pretty quick. So step one, you're going to control C to copy your first set of information, my task in this case. I'll Alt-Tab over to PowerPoint, and I'll hit Control v to paste. Now notice immediately that I get the Table Tool Design tab up in my ribbon, so Excel normally paste into PowerPoint as a table, but if I open up this flywheel down below, notice that I have this text only option, which forces all of my text into a text box or rectangle, and that's key. So I'm gonna control Z to undo that. So you're gonna control V to paste into PowerPoint, open up this flywheel and select text only. Again, we wanna turn this into PowerPoint shapes, and the first step is to get your text into a shape like this. Once you have your text into a shape like this, this is no longer a table, you're going to convert this into shapes by coming up into the Home tab. Navigate over here to Convert to SmartArt. This works on all versions of PowerPoint 2007 and later, including PowerPoint 2016 on a Mac. If you're using PowerPoint 2011 on a Mac, check out our other video. And notice that I've immediately I have two options, my vertical bullet list for a vertical layout, and I have this organizational chart which will help me do the horizontal side of this graphic. So it'll start me on the right foot. But for now, I'm just going to select this vertical bullet list. This turns into a smart art graphic, which we're not going to stop here. I made this extra big for you. Once you have this smart art graphic, if you control shift G once for ungroup, control shift G a second time, notice that this is now just individual shapes with my text in it that I can now use for my layout. Now for the second part, I'm going to do this in real time for the horizontal aspect of my graphic. So I'll Alt-Tab over to Excel. I'll come over and grab my milestones, which I want across the top of my graphic. I'll Control-C to copy, Alt-Tab, Control-V to paste, Control-T for text only. Again, there's all of my uh, Excel table data in a text box again. This time I want a horizontal graphic, so I'll come to the Home tab come over to convert to smart art, come over to the organizational chart this time, which naturally stacks my information. This again is a smart art graphic. I can resize this. I'll control shift G once, control shift G a second time. And that gets my data into the horizontal formation for my graphic. Now, once you repeat the process to get all of your Excel data into PowerPoint shapes like this, with a little bit of speed trading, you can finish off this entire layout in just about 12 minutes flat without any add-ins or special software. Don't believe me? Click the link on screen or below this video to see me crank it out in real time here on YouTube. And if you have a sharp eye, you'll be able to identify some additional killer PowerPoint hacks and tricks that I normally only show in our paid training courses. Now, though 12 minutes is pretty fast, in the next video, I'll show you how to blow through this entire process in less than 30 seconds. That's the power of having an add-in, which if you build a lot of Gantt charts like this, is an absolute no-brainer to get. Again, if you want a cheat sheet of the four steps covered in this video, plus all the shortcuts, click the link beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. I'm going to click to the next window, where I have even more formatting options. For now, I'm just going to click OK. The add-in goes to work, and boom, there is my Gantt chart from the Excel data here in PowerPoint. The only thing, I'm going to close this, I, this task pane over on the right. The only thing you'll need to do from here is come to the Home tab, apply your layout. I'm going to choose the title with footer layout.